Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. I'm Nik Nur Elin Fariza binti Nik Fauzi from class 5 Nilam. Today, I want to share you my story about the, lit- the literary riding hood. Once upon a time, in a countryside, there was a beautiful girl. Her grandma made her a beautiful world with red hair. She wore it every day, so people call her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother said to Red Riding Hood, Send this cake and rice wine to your grandma. She is ill. Come home early. Then, Little Red Riding Hood went out happily. She passed through a large forest and came across a cunning wolf. The wolf pretend to be kind and asked Little Red Riding Hood where she will go. She said, I'm going to visit my grandma. She is ill. The wolf asked where her grandma lives. Little Red Riding Hood also told him. The wolf went to eat her and her grandma, so he went to her grandma's home first. The wolf knocked her grandma's door. No, 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 and use literary riding hood voice. I'm a literary riding hood. I'm coming to see you. Her grandma let the wolf in. The wolf swallowed her grandma. Then he lay on her grandma's bed, waiting for literary riding hood. After a while, literary riding hood knocked the door. No, 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 the wolf asked, Who is it? Little Red Riding Hood say, This is me, Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf say, Come in, the door is open. He cover his body and low mouth with the quilt. The Red Riding Hood curiously asks, Grandma, why are you here and I so be? The wolf say, In order to hear you better and see you clear. The red riding hood asks again, Why are you tea so strong? The wolf say, So I can eat you. Then he swallowed her. The wolf was full. He fell asleep and snored loudly. A hunter passed by. He saw the wolf lying inside the house. He knew what had happened. Then the hunter cut off wolf's belly. The little girl and her grandma came out. They stuffed the wolf belly with stone. Then grandma see you up his belly. The wolf woke up. He went out for water. He fell into a well and drowned. The little girl jumped up happily and grandma was also cute. Little Red Riding Hood returned home. She guaranteed her mother that she would never trust a stranger easily. The moral of the story is, we never talk to we never talk to strangers easily. Thank you.